So it's always a good day any day I get a chance to do a reaction video, and that's what we got going on here today. Folks, I gotta be honest with you, I'm feeling a little dumb. I fell for the okie doke. I fell for something that I haven't fallen for in quite some time. It's not often that I fall for things. Probably be a good place to throw a skit in. Right. <laughs> yeah, right, Joe, all you do is fall for things. You're such a dummy. You're such a dummy, but you're funny, though. You are funny, I will give you that. Maybe, maybe, uh, I don't know. We'll try, to, we'll try to go a lot harder. Folks, just recently on Facebook, you know, I thought that you could really count on Facebook for facts. Don't they got this new thing like the fact verifier? Like if you post something and it's not true. They... I ran across this post right here. And as soon as I saw this, I thought to myself, oh my God, why didn't I think of that? Was the first thing that came to mind. And then the second thing that came to mind was, oh shit, I gotta get those. That is nothing short of absolute drip. That is flexeroni. That is she and bussin. I've been watching way too much TikTok lately. Way too much. Joe, you're 40, you're not 14. This picture would be posted on the official. They've got a blue verified check mark. Joiner Lucas page. And maybe it was the blue check mark that really made me fall for it, but whatever the case, I thought that this was legit. These things are pretty damn dope, if you ask me. If these were real, I would be copying these, but I learned that they're not. How did I learn? Because I just spent over an hour this morning scouring the internet, trying to find these, only to realize they don't exist. But damn, shouldn't they, though? And also, this is pretty good Photoshop as well. Yeah, folks, I don't even believe that that person's actually even wearing that shoe at all. And again, just to reiterate this, it's crazy that these don't exist because if they did, I would imagine these things would sell out in a heartbeat. So it's with sharing that thus far that brings us to today's video where I did, in fact, run across quite a few different variations and varieties of ramen noodle soup shoes. Men's, women's, even toddlers and small children. I think that's the same. Boy, they, we got some big flies up in here now. I know y'all seen that joint just fly near my cheekbone. Y'all better stay. Is that a horse fly? Damn, that's the biggest house fly I've ever seen in my life. Yo, y'all don't believe me, right? But I'm gonna take a, you, you, I know by this point, y'all probably like, yo, Joe is on drugs for real. Cause every time he film a video, all he talk about are flies. I just took a photo. Here's the proof. They're drawn to the light. Ironically, and stay over there. Let me do me right here. So yeah, folks, while I was looking for the exclusive Joyner Lucas Air Force One ramen noodles that don't exist, I ran across some other shoes that are pretty interesting. And today we're gonna be talking about and reacting to some of the hardest, coolest, most bustin' she oodle of noodle shoes that do in fact exist. And one pair that I, And one pair that I'd really like to get for myself and wait. I'll be right. I'll be. And stay tuned till the end when I share with you the dopest pair of ramen noodle shoes that I have found that do exist. But I can't seem to find these anywhere. Folks, let's begin this with some absolute cringe. Some of the ugliest shoes. Inspired by ramen noodles, I believe, that I'll be sharing with you guys in this video. And these are a pair of women's high heels. Eels. Now, whoever created these must have been high. Maybe this is what they felt like their brain was doing while on drugs, while trying to be creative, just straight melting. These things actually look like, I mean, I don't know, they definitely look like they're made out of some kind of either soft or hard plastic, maybe rubber. Maybe they could serve as some sort of a flotation device as well. Also, just as shocking about these shoes are the pair of legs that we can see protruding from the top of them. Folks, it looks like a goat's wearing these shoes. I don't know. Those are the skinniest ankles that I've ever seen in my life. And also very pale as well. Yeah, folks, these joints ain't hitting on nothing. Could you imagine your wife, your girlfriend, your sister, your daughter, your mother, your significant other, whoever, your Tinder date, showing up in a pair of these oodle heels? Woohoo! What you wear right there? All eyes on me like a Tupac song is what these shoes cry out. Look at me. I really like ramen. I, I don't know. Maybe they're maybe they're maybe they're a really hot commodity and a top seller. But to me, they're pretty ugly. But that's just my opinion. 
Next, we've got the hot and spicy Pro Kids. I don't even know if these are Pro Kids or not. Uh, look at these joints right here. I, I love the design of this. This either looks like some hot and spicy flavored ramen noodles with way too much seasoning on them joints or some Chef Boyardee canned spaghetti. Now, I'm not even gonna lie. These things, they're, they're, they're on a scale of a one to 10, I'd rock these. These are definitely probably like a, it's like a five for me right here. They're definitely gonna be a conversation piece. They're definitely gonna be some sort of flex. You show up anywhere wearing these joints, especially to court, you know the judge about to lock your dumb ass up. Damn, son, what you wearing? You got the oodle of noodles on your shoes? They sell those on the commissary where I'm about to send your dumb ass. Bung bung, prison. And you can't take the shoes with you. Yo, if you could get these shoes in prison, these things would be some flex. Wear these up into the visitation room. Ooh. Hey, you smell that? You shitting all over them. You don't even gotta ask that she send that. All you gotta do is go up into the VI and kick your feet back. She gonna look at the shoes and then remember, oh shit, I know he about to ask me, did I send his dumb ass some money? Knowing damn well I spent that shit out here in the free world trying to pay Jody's cell phone bill cause he ain't got a job. And what hurts the most is being so close and watching you walk away and knowing you just got paid. <laughs> and Jody getting all that. Next up on this list, I told y'all we had some toddler baby infant shoes. Take a look at these right here, folks. These are probably some of the most creative shoes in this video that we're gonna be talking about. And not only are these absolutely, they look like they are at least, absolutely looking like they are made from a beef ramen noodle wrapper. This is what I'll be talking about. This, that's not. This is exactly what I have talked about prior in the past previously. Whole lot of right there. You know, when I talk about not having a pair of shower shoes in prison and having to manufacture your own out of a ramen soup wrapper, folks, I ain't never seen nobody do it like this, but if they did though, and pay attention to any of you locked up in prison right now with your illegal contraband cellular device. You looking for a hustle while locked up? Tired of asking, did she send that? Get you some twine and get you some sewing. And make these, these joints would be a hit. You could send these home to that girl who magically, it's a miracle, is pregnant. And you're about to be a father knowing damn well you've been locked up five years. Where they do that at? Oh, that's right. Out there with Jody is probably where. Yo, this would be a mean hustle in prison. I've never seen anybody make ramen noodle wrapper booties to this degree. I've seen people make all sorts of things with ramen noodle wrappers. But yo, you could get some El Guapo putting together these right here. Don't be saying I'll be giving away the game. I'll be trying to look out for y'all. Next on the list, these ones aren't even really all that great. I ran across these. These are actually for sale on eBay right now. Take a look at these Bucket Feet Cat Ramen Noodle Bowl Sneakers Women 11 Men's 9.5 42.5 Slip-On Shoes. They want $59.50 plus $8.55 shipping for these monies right here. And I'm just, I'm just not really impressed. When I think about taking some Jackie Chan, some uh, that you can get for free in a lot of cases while locked up. You ever tried to ball in these joints right here? These slide on, slip on joints right here? You're gonna be coming back with more corns on your feet than a cornfield. <laughs> no, that, was, that, that wasn't it, Joe. <laughs> Sometimes I'll try to laugh till I, you know, it's almost like an applause sign for an audience. If I'm laughing, you should be laughing. But I know that was pretty corny right there. The whole, ah, -yah! that joint went in though. Damn, dog, where you get them ayahs from? Oh, you must have got transferred here with them joints because they didn't got them ayahs here where we at. Hey, what you want for them? $59.50 plus $8.55 shipping and handling, bitch, I'm right here. <laughs> yeah, these ones ain't that great. And I figure, wink, wink, here's the hint. Hey, I'm gonna say what I was gonna say, but I, I did. Sometimes I'll have things that I wanna say in a video and then I'll think better of it. Like, ah, I probably shouldn't say that. And then I'll think, what, what the hell? At the beginning of this video, I was gonna mention, folks, I'm about to give you a $1 million business idea and strategy for free. No Ty Lopez, don't click up top or down below or anybody else trying to sell you anything. Yo, you wanna make some money? I'm about to gift you the game. Whether you're locked up or you're free right now, get you a pair of these, and then cover them bitches and ramen. 
And I, I would go out on a limb and say, you probably got you some shit they're going to be wearing to the Grammys, to the MTV Music Awards. Damn, boy, look at, look, look at little baby right there. He got the ramen noodle eyes on right there. Oh, my God, the flex, the fleek, the bussin' sheesh. Yes, Joe, you have been watching way too much TikTok. Had to make sure that microphone was recording. I got that mic, this mic, that mic, three mics. And this mic is so important because it just sounds so good. So good. A little confession to make. I filmed a video where this mic was super important just recently. Not going to tell you what video it was. And the bitch was off the whole time. My dumb ass talking into it like, yeah, you know what I'm saying though? Hey, for real though, that joint be sounding extra crispy like some KFC. Uh, the flies are now inside of the light covers. We only got two more pair of shoes on this video that I want to react to, and let's go ahead and get into the second to last. This pair of sandals right here. I don't know if this is men's sandals or women's sandals right here, but these are actually not too bad at all. They actually look like they're made of like wine cork middle on the sole right there, and then some sort of plastic uh, noodle looking material for the top. You wear these joints, hey, these are gonna put those, um, what are them, them Crocs that everybody be wearing these days or any other uh, slides to shame. Didn't Yeezy just come out with some new slides? Them shits look like alien shoes. Everybody buying them though. Again, take you them ayahs. Dress them joints up with ramen, you gotta best up. Don't let me tell you how to make a clothing line out here. Don't call it a comeback. Now, even though I'm sharing this with you guys, this million dollar for free idea, the reason why I didn't want to talk about it was because, well, what if I do it? I mean, what do I got to lose at this point? Don't call it a comeback. What if we created some sort of a ramen noodle in theory, okay? We don't want to go get, we don't want to go get in copywritten for none of this because we want to get paid off of it. A ramen noodle look-alike clothing brand. I gotta be honest with you, I'm bored as shit with not a lot to do these days. In between flip houses, still got landscape, looking at storage auctions. We start a clothing line, a prison, like a prison polo. Ooh, shit, no! Could be something to it. All the other prison YouTubers out there, they'd be like, oh, oh my God, that's a genius idea! Oh, and real quick, just remember that I talked about this here today, because if anything pops up, I would expect you put some spec on my name and at least give me some credit? No? You ain't gonna do that even? Oh, okay. We've reached the final shoe that I want to share with you guys, folks. And look, we've had a lot of laughs in this video. I hope we have, or this has all been for nothing. And wouldn't that be a shame? But I said at the beginning of this, look, there is one shoe that I think is extra flexy. And this is being for real for reals. You know, the Air Force One was fake. Uh, all these other shoes, they're like either handmade, homemade, you know, whatever. But I want to show you this, and I'm going to tell you the name first before I show you the image. It's a Sacconi Grid 8500 SL Ramen. And go ahead and take a look at this picture right here. Sacconi is an, a, a real brand of shoes. And I guess that they make these different themed type of shoes. Now, folks, this is an exclusive, an exclusive ramen shoe right here, which almost you know, almost kind of has some similarities to like, uh, maybe to like an Air Max or something like that. So looking at this, you can see like some of the design of this shoe is actually made of like noodle design, right? And then if you look at the tongue of the shoe, boy, that joint got a bowl of steaming hot noodles right there. These shits go in. Now, everywhere that I've even seen these shoes, they're sold out. I, I can't find these things anywhere. And if I could, look at the bottom of them joints though. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Maybe like the little veggies and seasoning pouch they use for that gum sole right there. These shits go in. I can't find these for sale anywhere. There's a lot of sites where you can buy like name brand designer clothes and shoes. And I'm going to try to find these. And when I do, if I do, and I can get them for under, I don't even know what the price on these would be. These shits could be sold for, you could, you could, you could name the price on these because they are so exclusive. And my size too, man, I wear a 12. Yeah, these are going to be super hard to find. But if and when I ever get my hands on these, you're going to know about it. Come on, film that whole video with my damn feet. Hey, yo, boy, hey, boy, hey, yeah. You know, I'll be wearing the, I'll be wearing the thong, the thong. It's summertime right now, but let me get them joints. What the hell was on the bottom of my sandal? Oh, it was a tag. Let me get them. 
you're going to know I got them. Folks, I think these are the hardest ramen shoes that actually really do exist. And even though Joanna Lucas might have just been clowning a little bit with that photoshopped image of them buck naked ramen Air Force One, wouldn't it be something if they did exist? Because you want to talk about a come up? Yo, I bet you everybody would buy them joints. But that's just my opinion. I could be dead wrong. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did so, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about this. And if you know of any other ramen-style shoes that we did include in this video, comment down below and let us know. And, and also, if you find them Ciccone joints, hey, let me know, because I damn sure like to cop those. Have a great one. I look forward to talking with you guys again next time. And until then, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted, and make the most of every day. Peace!